It's like the it's yeah. Going there. Okay, so you're not sure about number nine here. So so let's yeah. let's take a look at it. Here's here. It says the average of five numbers is four. How much would the sum of the numbers have to increase by in order for the average to increase by three? Okay, so how much would the sum have to increase by? Now let's think about this. How do we take the average of a bunch of numbers? You add them all up to the sum. Right, you add them all up to the sum. So you do the sum divided by the total amount of numbers and that gives you the average, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's fill this in then. The average of five numbers, so our total amount of numbers is five, and the average of them is four. So I want you to tell me then, what would the sum have to be there? Oh, um, I, I, mm -hmm. so think what number uh, divided by five? Bad, no, that's okay. <laughs> Um, just think, what number, when you divide it by 5, gives you 4? Um, 20. 20, right. There you go. So the sum is 20. Okay, so now the question is, how much would that sum have to increase by so that our average increases by 3? So mm -hmm. we want the average to go from 4 to what? 7. 7. So we want this to be 7. So if the sum is 20 mm -hmm. right now, how much would that have to increase by? Which one of these answers, when you increase it by that amount, would make that whole thing come out to be seven. Got it. Okay. Um, it's 15. Yeah, it's just gonna be 15 choice A there. Okay, because 20 plus 15 gives us the 35. 35 One, divided right. by five yeah. is seven. Yep, okay. All right, let's check the rest of these out here. What'd you get for number 10? C. Uh, C, okay, be very, very careful with number 10 here, okay. Um, when you are typing in negative numbers into your calculator, right? You want to yeah. make sure that you keep them in parentheses. So if I was putting in negative three for X, because it says what value of X, if I tried out negative three, I want to make sure I'm putting mm -hmm. parentheses negative three uh, squared here, minus right. five times parentheses negative three minus six. Because if I do that, see how that gives me 18 here? Yeah. Which is not equal to um. zero. Okay, so if you're putting in negatives, be very, very careful to keep them in their own parentheses. Why don't you retry this here now and see which answer would work? Wait, Wait so, so 18, 18 isn't right? right? Well, remember, we want it to come out to be zero. Right? Well, yeah, right, right. okay, you know what I'm Right, so we, when we right. put in negative three here, so when I replace my x's with negative three, that came out to be 18. We wanna find the one that when I put in that value, comes zero. out to be zero. And now sometimes, okay, if you want to make this a little bit easier on yourself too, okay, you see how mm -hmm. some of them have negative numbers and positive numbers? Okay, yeah. It's probably a lot easier to just type in the positive numbers first. So yeah. why don't you just try out the positive ones first and find the positive number that works, and then you'll know which okay. answer it has to be rather than, you know, confusing yourself with the negative mean. values. Right. E. Yeah, and then it has to be E there, Okay. Because again, if you did the positive number, you could just literally type in six squared right. minus the that's five just calculator. Six minus six. Yeah. Exactly, and that does in fact give me zero. Since that's the only mm -hmm. answer that has six, we know it's it. Now there's another way to do this though, and I'm just curious to see if you remember. Do you remember how to factor something that looks like this? Yeah, so um, it would be negative three, negative two. Okay, close. If I put in negative three and a negative two, right? Negative yeah. three plus negative two is negative five, but a negative three times a negative two would actually be a positive six, positive. not a oh, negative so six. One six. Right. So it's one and six. Yeah, what kind of one and what kind of six? And it has to be negative one, positive six, because that's how you get. Negative one and a positive six? Well, six minus one would be a positive five, right? So it's actually the opposite way of that. We want a negative six, and a positive one, because a negative six plus one, oh, right. okay. that adds to negative five, and a negative six times a positive one, that multiplies to the negative six there. Because you remember the process, you just gotta be a little bit more careful with it, because if you did that, yeah. right, then we can just tee right. this off, and we set each of those equal to zero, 
So mm -hmm. when you do that out here, if you solve that out, right, you get the negative one sense. and the six. Okay. All right, cool. Um, how about number 11 here? B. B is in boy? Yeah. Okay, we'll take a look at that one too. Do you know oh how to gosh. put logs with bases into your calculator? Yeah, yeah, you have to go to, you have to like do the extra thing, yeah. Yeah, so you've seen you, you click the math button and you just scroll. Oh wait, no, E. It was a regular, it was a regular nine. Yeah, I regular nine. I just, I, I'm, I'm looking at my work. It was, it was a regular nine, not the negative. Oh, okay, you just selected the wrong answer. Okay, yeah. Because I did, I did a negative nine and it gave me a weird answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you put in the nine like, there, you'll see it gives you 0.666 repeating. Yeah. Which is the same thing math and render as two thirds. Yep. Cool. Right. 